This week, we're talking about the great, the man of the people, the football guy, Jason Kelsey. Yes, a future Hall of Famer, a six-time All-Pro at the center position. From a football standpoint, we know what this guy has done on the field. It's a pleasure to watch this guy play football. I mean, as an undersized 6'3 center, the way that he pulls and goes up field and makes that upfield block, it's a beautiful sight to see for fans of football. But let's give you a little history on this guy before the major display we saw at uh, Buffalo when it comes to leaving the luxury box and just smashing that beer. But let's talk about his uh, development as a player. He went to University of Cincinnati. He actually was a walk-on at the running back position, shifted to fullback, and ultimately made his way to the offensive line. He was a six-round draft pick by Andy Reid in Philadelphia. And what he has done to be an undersized 6'3", 295 lineman is a pretty impressive thing. But I think it's a beautiful sight to see this guy finally getting his due. We're all in love with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey and that love story. But Jason Kelsey finally made a grand debut, I think, on a national scale. And it wasn't just about how he interacted with the Bills Mafia and how much fun he had. I don't think there's another player in the NFL who could play for the Eagles, root for the Chiefs, and also hang out with Bills fans and just be loved by everybody. But he's been this type of character for a long time time. We've seen him just recently in the past week or two go to his local McDonald's and actually do his usual order of two sausage, egg and cheese, and a large coffee. But he signed a jersey for Superfan and his favorite employee, Danielle Bonham. And he also did a lovely thing when he kind of mounted from the uh, luxury box, went down to the Bills Mafia, and he identified Ella Piazza, an eight-year-old girl who's a Bills fan and also a super Swifty fan, right? Well, he holds her up, makes sure her sign, and she gets her little moment waving to Taylor Swift. It was a beautiful sight to see, but this guy has been having great moments for a long time. 2018, that's when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. He had a great speech. He had a great Mummer's Day outfit. He's been a man of the people for a long time. He even has his own Christmas album with fellow linemen Jordan Mailata and Lane Johnson. So uh, it was all for charity. He's a great guy. I'm happy he's finally getting his due. It's a special thing to see. So future Hall of Famer, Jason Kelsey, we clap it. For you.